everybody, Luke McElroy from Mets Performance Consulting here today with Big Ivan Dennis, one of our high performance coaching guys, <laughs> as, he, as he laughs away. Here with Nick and James. For those who haven't met James, uh, he's the elite 1500 meter runner. He's doing an internship with us. Um, he was a guy who ran 20 k's an hour, up an 8% incline on the treddy before. Just doing a video today, just taking you through a bit about what the VO2 max test is about. We're going to really focus this on the acute responses, which are occurring to Ivan's uh, heart, lungs and muscles as we go through the test. So. Um, we'll keep you keep you tuned in with what's going on. At the moment, I'll just turn this around. Pretty comfortable start. Ivan is sitting at a heart rate of 128, 28.9 relative VO2 max. Um, he's only at 150 watts, so we've just started four and a half minutes into the test. Ventilation we can see there is at 54.5, so not to 65.6. So most people, his resting ventilation is about 10 litres, so he's up about six times that. He's at a pretty comfortable 34 breaths per minute, and his muscles are, are using a good amount of oxygen. Just over here, we're going to be tracking his lactate. Um, pretty resting, he started off at 2.3 and we've just gone up to 2.5, so we'll keep you tuned in. Pretty comfortable 2.6. Anything under two and a half is considered pretty much purely aerobic. And then once we get up close to do three and a half, four, we're looking at threshold. Doing well. Give it up, mate. Just finished 180 watts. About to get his next lactate sample. 3.4. 3.4. So starting to come up a little bit. So if we haven't, think about energy system contribution here, guys. We've gone from you know, 2, 3, 2, 5, 2, 6, now we're up to 3, 4. We're starting to get an increased contribution from his anaerobic glycolysis system. He's still well and truly predominantly aerobic. If we have a quick update on his acute responses, we can see that his ventilation is almost at 80 litres now, so he's breathing in more air. Still pretty comfortable, VO2, just gone up to 42 and a half. Happy days, 87 ventilation, 42 breaths. Uh, his fraction of expiry, his AVO2 difference is still uh, very, very economical at the moment with a heart rate of of 146 so still doing still doing really well mate keep it up big Ivan going well here mate doing well so as you can see here we've got a fan going for him um, obviously a byproduct of that of that aerobic glycolysis system is, is producing heat um, and he's, how long has the test been going for boys 11 to 22 so he's, he's pure no, it's pure, he's, he's predominantly aerobic there's no more oxygen deficit um, so to try cool him down yeah we try to use some fans so we don't want Especially in a VO2 max and lactate test, we don't want heat load stress to be a contributor to fatigue, or not, not a significant contributor. So we normally get the aircon on, get the fan going, because uh, we don't want to create any external variables. We want, to, we want to make sure that the results we get are purely from a change in training intervention. So wait. Doing well, let's take another blood lactate sample. Again, we know we take blood lactate because it's a direct correlator between um, uh, with hydrogen ion accumulation. 3.2, so we've actually just come down in, in lactate last time we were up, so that's really good. Keep it up, mate. We're just on 240 watts, as we can see here. Quick update on acute responses here. Ventilation, 92. He'll get up to 200 litres. He's got a pretty big lung capacity. Uh, 39 breaths, 158 heart rate. VO2's pretty steady at 43. Good eye, but come on, minutes mate. down at 300, come on. 175 heart rate, 52.8 VO2. He's up to 167 at 68 on. breaths. He's doing well. Last lactate was at 7 millimoles. We can see that graph come up. Come on, mate, finish it off. Come on. There's it's another 15 down. Let's get to the halfway point. 15 energy away. system contribution here. Clearly, he's still aerobically dominant. Imagine him trying to hold his breath now. It's not going to happen. We can hear him breathe, but he is getting an increased contribution from that anaerobic system. Come on, mate, pump it out. We've just turned the fan up a notch, producing a lot of heat. Come on. Halfway through this stage, come on, mate. Good, mate. Doing well. Let's go. Last time we ramped it up by a minute, but I'm not gonna. We're gonna hold this, hold this wattage, mate. Come on, let's go. Let's hold it for three. Good. Loving your work. Good stuff. Yeah, mate. Fifteen around out the second minute. Three arms. Come on. Out this Keep that cadence Continue. up. Cadence up. Come on. Bit by bit now. Bit by bit. Good, mate. Come on. Doing well. Doing well. Oh, Finish up. 
Here we go. Right, one more minute, 300. One more minute, 300. Come on, mate. 171, 180. We've just hit it. 69 breaths. Come on. Let's go, mate. You're two down. Let's go. Finish it up. Don't worry, mate. Come on. Loving 45. your work. 45. Get through this next 45. Come on, mate. We get through this one. We're gonna ramp. Then we'll ramp it up minute by minute. All right. Let's go. Come on. You can hear him breathing. Going well. Good work, mate. Come on. We can hear, guys, his tidal volume is plateaued. That's why he's breathing so frequently now. He's already got maximum lung Come capacity. On, so now he's got to breathe hot. He's got to breathe more frequently to get that that air in. We'll see in the data after. Oh, we just went to a new screen. Unlucky. Heart rate will be increasing as well. Again, stroke volume will have plateaued. He has to increase his heart rate to keep cardiac output up. Come on, mate. Here we go. Nearly there. Oh, in 10 seconds. Let's get there, mate. Come on. We're getting a lactate sample. This one will be high. Come on. Work, mate. Come on. Put him up. Are we putting him up? What are we up to? Yeah, ten, two, ten, one. Ten, Come on, mate. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Yes. Man. Lactate. Give us a look when it's up. 10. There we go. That's what we want. He's still, guys, still aerobically dominant. It's just getting a massive increase in contribution. Instead of being 90 and 10, it's like an 80 20 contribution. Come on, finish come up. On, mate, come go on. Finish up. Go Let's on. go. Come, mate. Good work. Good work. Go on. Go on. Let's go. Come on. Where are you doing the damage? Loving your work. Loving your work. Come on. Yeah, come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Are we going up every minute? Every minute, yep. Go, Come on, mate. 195 litres of ventilation. Up 30 or up 15. 20. No, done, 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 done. Good, mate. Good work. Good job. Woohoo! Resistance down. So from 3, what are we up to? What are we at? 3.30? Oh, that's good power. That's awesome, mate. So from 3.30 watts, we're now going to go into an active recovery. Get it, maybe get out of the app completely, mate. Sometimes no, you need to. This one goes down pretty quick. Yep, good. Awesome, mate. Awesome work. Active recovery, same activity, lower workload. We want to metabolise those hydrogen ions. So as we saw, an, an acute response was uh, an increase in that anaerobic contribution. He's getting a lot of lactate, a lot of lactic acid. The hydrogen component of lactic acid causes the fatigue. So what we want to do is now keep oxygen supply high, um, keep that that excess post-exercise oxygen consumption up, the oxygen debt, uh, flush out the legs. We can see, obviously he's working against gravity here. All the blood is pulled in his legs. By doing these contractions, we're gonna, the, the, the muscles are gonna squeeze against the veins, push the blood back up to the heart. We're gonna get oxygen coming in. Oxygen comes and finds hydrogen. We turn it into water. So that, that turn that fatiguing byproduct into a non-fatiguing. He's still clearly sweating as we can see. Fan is helping, but he's still sweating. He's not gonna go straight back to homeostasis or back to a resting state. What's going to happen is obviously, just like we can't go from 60 to 200 heart rate in two seconds, we can't go from whatever we got to, about 180 heart rate, down to 60 straight away either. So it takes a bit of time to do that. So really important to do an active recovery. You will recover twice as fast. So there's a lot of research out there to show that your lactate levels will, um, will, will doing an active versus a passive recovery, if you do an active recovery, you'll, you'll come back to resting lactate literally twice as fast. So really important to do. Um, good work, mate. How you feeling? Yeah, go again, warm up done. Go. All right. What was the unofficial VO2, Nick? 60.0. 60, so 60 on the dot, unofficial VO2, we'll confirm that. All right, thanks guys, thanks for tuning in. And we will see you again in three months time, eh? <laughs> All right, good one, speak soon.